Hi folks, welcome for today's video. It is nice and sunny outside and therefore I thought why not making some points of my to-do list. Um, as promised a couple of videos back I was going to get myself the thickest cord that I can actually get in the stores here. So this is it. It is really thick so I've never seen anything thicker when it comes to yarn or cord um, which is still kind of works for the acrylic brewing um, section. So they are thicker out there but they might be too sturdy and yeah, it might not work. I'm not sure. So yeah, this is going to be the tool of our use today. I've already cut them into a couple of um, smaller thingies here and I've put them into these jars just because I want them to soak up the paint um, a bit longer than the thinner ones. We are going to use the Phthalo Blue. This is a ready mix already. Just put some in there. And this is the same mixture as I would use for my acrylic pores itself. Okay, let this be for a second. And this is my gold mixture, all, also the same as I always use for my pores. And I will do the same with the other side here. And as you already can imagine, I'm going back to my signature colors for this pour. Um, so the Taylor blue gold and some white for the background. Just to keep things simple and as I know that this palette kind of works for me. So let's do the same game. Soak these cords into the paint with the paint. And get on some gloves for the background layer. This is just going to be pure white. So this is it. This is my regular mixture. It is acrylic binder. I put some PVA glue in to stretch it a bit more and to keep it on the um, cheaper side and some white acrylic paint, some water to get the consistency that I love working with. And then just put it on there. Okay, so let's go from there. We are going to pick the first one, which will be a blue one. So this is it and I'm going to place it on here. What I'm hoping for is that I get a bit more of the color down here because the yarn is bigger than the one that I used in the other paints, paintings. Let's see. Yeah, really looks nice. It gives me more color, it gives me more definition and I can make longer pours without losing the color itself. Kind of like it as it is already. Should I stop now? <laughs> now let's give it a decent rest. So, but as I don't really know what to tell, what to say about the entire making process, I will just let you watch, play some music and we make the final discussion as usual in the end when this is done. We are going to go on with um, a golden one and let's see how many of these florals I'm going to add there. I do not want to overload it. We will see.
So here we go with a close up. I must say I pretty much like how this one looks. So the effect is really cool. I can get the saturation that I was looking for. Um, I still don't have a chain. So I was asked to make some chain pull pours as well. So I'm still need to get one. They didn't have one in the shop. So, but this actually kind of gives you the, the chain pull look as well, you see. These cells um, were actually not really intended, so there is no silicone in these paints. But the PVA glue often does its own thing and causes some cell creation. I do not mind them, they are really sweet here and they fit the entire design. I also kind of love the one golden in the middle. I thought about adding two. But I think this one is okay. And I also like that this bottom um, flower here is a bit darker than the others. So that it is going softer and more settled towards the top. I'm going to let this dry, show you the end result when it's dry. And yeah, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share the video with everyone who might want to see it, who might want to try it. I know this is nothing groundbreaking new, there are tons of features out there with this technique. Um, it's just something fun and easy to make, I'd say. The materials that I've used are linked down below in the video description, as I always do. And of course, it would mean a lot to me if you would like the video and subscribe to my channel. And of course, also come back for my next coming videos. So, having this said, thank you for your time, thank you for watching, and other than that, I hope to see you in my next videos. Have a great day. Bye-bye.